Hey everyone, welcome back to my second video in my manicure vlog series. And if it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for being here on the channel. I hope you get something out of it. Jumping right in, you'll see when I pick up my file to start the prep of her fingers, I start going in one direction, which is the way you should be filing someone's natural nail with a file. And then we go both, okay? Oh. Yep, so you can see someone has told me that I'm supposed to file one direction, but it's a really hard habit to break. <laughs> um, so you can kind of see me struggling through that in this one. And that's why I left this on regular speed just for a second so we can watch me working through at least one hand and then I'll you know speed it up. Um, but you can see that I'm going back and forth a lot. You should file from um, in only one direction on the natural nail plate. I can also tell that I'm using the wrong file because the file the school gave us, the white ones like that, and I'm pretty sure I'm using this video, were 80 grit on both sides. Um, if someone happens to be watching this that uh, went to school with me at Redken, uh, feel free to comment below if you remember exactly what the files were but I'm pretty sure they were 80 grit on both sides so that is the incorrect file to use on someone's natural nail plate the correct choice would have been a quote-unquote medium abrasive file which in my eyes would be a 180 grit 240 is a uh, fine to me it's a buffer grit so I definitely wouldn't go 240 um, I don't really ever use anything over a 180 to be honest um, unless like it's very you know specific moment that I need to buff other than that um, you know I don't ever go over 180 though but yeah so I would recommend like a 180 grit file on someone's natural nail plate um, you definitely don't want to be using 80 though so just keep that in mind and I was able to zoom in on the video it zoomed in on like the entire video not just the one section so I'm still learning that on the editing app I hope it didn't you know zoom in too far but I'm just gonna go ahead and roll with it speeding the video up finally <laughs> Um, you can try to get through this. I'm still filing for some reason. <laughs> um, don't ask me why. I'm actually really anxious and curious to get to the next steps. So it looks like we're finally done filing maybe. We're on the pinky. You guys, her rings were like amazing. That's why I initially was trying to zoom in on the video was to see her ring closer, but wow. There's a little still shot I got, thankfully, because again, I didn't get many pictures on these early videos. You know, it was so much for me to try to remember was you know all the steps plus like filming it plus taking pictures before and after so you guys will notice like on each video i'll have like a before picture not an after like vice versa you know some videos the video cut out i didn't realize you know if i got a phone call it was stopping the video so definitely a learning lesson at this point Okay, so I have cleaned her nails since then. I do break that up kind of into two steps. I like to dry brush the dust off the nail first before I do it with the alcohol or dehydrator. Um, now I'm going in with the protein bond. I still use protein bond to this day. You know what's nice is I'm actually glad that I'm just you know, editing these videos and voicing them over because I could only imagine, you know, what I would have had to say a year ago over these videos and, you know, I wasn't in a position at all to even be, you know, trying to help anybody else because I wasn't even doing it correctly myself. So I'm definitely 
happy to be editing this now when I can look back at this and really see, you know, things that I needed to change. You can see her showing off her ring. Um, you know, things I needed to improve on and, and still to this day, things that I need to improve on. So getting that base coat down and we'll go into the polish I believe um, it was a polish that the school provided if we can see the bottle still I'll be able to tell but that is the lamp the school provided I still use that we found it on AliExpress I think for like four dollars and 36 cents I don't know why I remember that number so exact but I'll try to find it again and I can link it below. Real quick, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who subscribed and who comments and, you know, helps me grow my channel. I really appreciate the feedback that someone had given me on another video, how she couldn't watch because it wasn't the entire screen. I noticed that again on this video when I was able to change that. So thank you so much. I forget what your name was, but thank you, girl. I hella appreciate that. So you guys, don't forget, subscribe, hit the notification button, comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about manicures, um, if you have any feedback, comments, anything that you do. And for daily content, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Nails by Bunny Bear. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.